We got socks, googly eyes, felt, an adorable puppy. Let's turn this nubbin into a sock puppet. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for the kisses, Sully. So last week, I bought googly eyes for my little nubbin socks here, and we turned Mr. McNubbins into a, a fully developed character, but I feel like he needs a few more costumes. And I have not done crafty things in years. I got these pieces of felt for like $5 off of Amazon, even more googly eyes, and we're gonna create Mr. McNubbins, a whole new character. Also, hi and welcome to the new subscribers. I very unexpectedly had a few short videos here on YouTube that have done outstandingly well, and our community has grown exponentially, and it's so lovely to see new faces and old faces here. Let's get to crafting. Outstanding, all right. Start with googly eye placement. I feel like that is the foundation of Mr. McNubbins' new character. I got super glue. Um, in retrospect, this is probably overkill. I probably just needed like fabric glue, but I am not gonna have my nubbin puppet falling apart. I feel like the eyeball placement is of paramount importance. Let's say right there. <laughs> All right, let's get these cemented in place. So as these videos have uh, unexpectedly gone out to millions of people, I've gotten a lot of questions about my little nubbin here. So I thought as we craft, I would answer a few questions. By far the most asked question is, why is it so gosh darn wiggly? And when I see this played back on camera, I'm like, wow, that is one floppy leg. So here's the situation. When you have a leg amputation, they basically take your calf muscle, leave it a little longer than where they cut the bones, and then they fold it back up over because the end of your leg needs padding. So my bones end like right there, right? Well, we got a lot of a lot of movement underneath there and that's muscle and tissue so that when you are using a prosthetic leg to walk, you have some padding here. And trust me, it is very, very important because without that, you get real uncomfortable. Got two little eyeballs. So I did some sock puppet research and I think, I think we're just gonna wing it with character creation. I think step one is a cute little pink tongue. Oh, my dog's gonna be seeing these. Oh no, chaos is going to ensue. Guys, guys, mommy's working. They have no respect. None. I used to be crafty back in the day. Let's see if those skills have stood the test of time. Come on up, Sadie. So I'm not gonna lie, it's been very therapeutic to turn my little nubbin here into some kind of character that brings people joy. I haven't really talked about this a lot in videos, but seeing my leg uncovered is still something that makes me deeply uncomfortable. So to create this personality around it, I think is actually delightful. There, no, probably there. Yeah, like at the bottom. Is it safe to super glue this to me? How's that tongue placement? Another thing people were super curious about is, is there any benefit to having this little chunk of my leg left? over. Like why didn't they just go through the knee or above the knee? And this is a question that is actually super important. Uh, because I have this much of my leg left, it actually allows for my prosthetic to attach to me because the socket goes around there, I still have my knee movement, and I've been able to learn how to walk again that way. I have some friends who have a lot less leg because of the circumstances of whatever caused their amputation where they might only have a few inches, and it does make prosthetic fitting a little bit more difficult, so I'm really grateful I have like six inches below my leg. But there are all kinds of amputations. Sometimes they do go through your knee. Sometimes you have to have an above the knee amputation, but if at all possible, it's really important that you keep all the human joints that you can. All right, let's see if that stays. Um, what kind of nose does he he need red yes we need a red little like triangle or heart that's what we'll do I'm trying to be a little stingy with this because when I ordered this off Amazon these looked like full-size pieces yes I should have checked the measurements but I didn't Does that look good I don't feel like that's enough nose you know it's my sock puppet I'm, I'm just gonna say it's enough do, 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 do. next I think I think we need some ears so I was just scrolling through the comments looking for other questions to answer I do not like amputee people for one reason I'm a person who has never broken a bone or lost a limb I don't know how to go through life without it. I genuinely don't like them because they're too strong. Amputees arise. I mean, he's not wrong. We are pretty, pretty strong. We want to match the color. No, I think we want to go a little bit darker. One of my favorite things that has happened in the last week is I had someone reach out to me who runs like a kid show and asked if they could interview my nubbin as if like he was a separate being, which to be fair, he is sentient. He absolutely is a separate being. But I was like, heck yes, absolutely. What a fantastic, lovely thing to be able to do. You know, a few years ago, did I think that I would be giving interviews with a nub and sock puppet? No, but life does take unexpected turns. I want like rounded ears like that, you know? We are winging it here, guys. Fun story, I actually have a 103 degree fever right now. It's not COVID. Ooh, if I could make it stand up like that, that'd be good. Uh, so I think I'm making sense as I'm recording this, but I'm also 
Not sure. Oh, he could be a puppy dog with like floppy ears. That would be easier to do. That is what we're going to do. What do we think? I think I think it's good. I think this is working. The ears are too small, but maybe that will add to the charm. I feel the super glue sticking to my skin underneath. That is not a good sign. Oh no, 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 no! Stay on, little puppy dog ears. No! So the original reason I was talking about having a nubbin warmer that eventually turned into a sock puppet was, I don't know if I've talked about this before, this gets so cold. There will be nights where I like can't sleep because I, I like I feel it, it's just ice cold, right? I think part of that is due to circulation issues. You know, when they remove a part of your body, especially on your lower limb, you can run into some issues with that. But I realized all I needed to do was just Flip a sock upside down, this becomes the part for the knee and it actually kind of fits perfectly. So on cold nights here in Colorado, I'll put a sock on and then a little nubbin warmer. The moment of truth, will he stay together? Oh, ouch. Don't, oh, ow, oh my God. The super glue like glued to the little hairs at the bottom of my leg. Let's rip off the band-aid. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right, here's what we're working with, and I kind of love it. Well, hi, Sadie. You want to come join us? This is my beautiful girl, Sadie. She is just about 10. I've had her since she was seven months old, and she is an old... She's an old... She's an old curmudgeon, is what I was trying to say. Completely harmless, but she growls and whines her way through every single day, don't you? Life is hard. Mm. I know. Let's see the finished product. I really feel like I need to learn ventriloquism. Quistism. I need to learn how to be a ventriloquist now that I've acquired a brand new career. If I made nubbin sock puppets, would anyone buy them? That's a very niche market. And with that, my dear friends, I'm gonna make myself some more tea with lemon and a lot of honey and hopefully get this fever down. I probably shouldn't be drinking tea if I have a fever. But tea makes my throat feel better and is comforting. I'm gonna do some Googling on this. So with this being our official first attempt, I would love to hear what kind of characters we would like to create next on the comment section down below. I'm sure there's like sock puppet TikTok or sock puppet YouTube that I could probably learn a lot from and get some character inspiration and maybe upgrade from Loctite super glue for our next crafting project here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. With this being said, I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you. You could be anywhere else in the world doing anything else and you chose to hang out with me in a silly video for a little while and I really appreciate that. A big thank you to my patrons. You will see their names at the very end of this video. I'm gonna play a couple of the shorts that I've been referring to. If you haven't checked them out, yet I've been having so much fun creating just like shorter little bits of content I've been I've been loving it check these out let me know what you think and what we should name mr. sock puppet I love you guys I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video bye guys something you might not know about us amputees is that our little nubbins can get really cold sometimes this is due to circulation issues other times it's phantom sensations like my foot is in a bucket of ice water but my foot doesn't exist anymore so let me show you my favorite amputee hack that I came up with here we have a pair of socks, but only one foot, so this one is useless, right? Or is it? All you gotta do is rotate that sock so that the heel part is on top and you suddenly have the perfect nubbin warmer. You wanted googly eyes? We got googly eyes. So I ordered small to medium assorted googly eyes, and this is what I got. These are massive. All right. What about eye positioning? Are we thinking kind of like, kind of like a snake there? Um, I'm gonna say about there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I kind of love this. Good morning. It's like he's a whole character. He needs a name. She needs a name. Bye.